Country Police Department is hoping a new addition to the force will help crack down on a growing drug problem in the town. After recognizing a narcotics problem, Norman G's police chief found a partner who has some very specific skills. KX News reporter Alexandra Bush shows us how the department is working to help not only the Norman G community, but also provide some people, or prove rather, some people wrong. Wilson, he, he proved me wrong. K9 Wilson is the newest member of the Norman G Police Department. One of the big issues that was addressed to me when I came to work here was the narcotics problem. And one of the easiest tools to help combat that problem is with the canines. Wilson isn't your typical police dog. He's not a shepherd or retriever, but a pit bull who was found as a stray. Now he's one of seven pit bulls in the nation that Animal Farm Rescue has placed with police departments. We think that it's important for the public to see that these dogs are um, the same as other dogs and can do the same job. K9 Wilson trained to find narcotics by using his favorite toy. Every time he sniffs out the odor, did you find it? He gets rewarded. K9 Wilson. Uh, your methamphetamines, cocaine, heroin, uh, marijuana, ecstasy. With his sense of smell, you know, he can find it. Wilson spent four weeks training for his job in San Antonio. When he isn't Chief Wilson's partner, he's his new best friend. At the end of their shift, the two head home to Chief Herford's family. Ted Bull is not just an aggressive animal. Uh, he's, he's an individual just like we are. He's got a mindset of his own, but with the proper training, you know, he's a lovable, fun, working dog. In Norman G, Alexandra Bush, KAGS HD News. Chief Herford says a police dog can cost the department more than $15,000. The Norman G Police Department, however, was fortunate enough to receive Wilson at no cost thanks to Animal Farm Rescue.